globally, the church is functioning in digital as if we're still living in the broadcast era. Worse than that, we're creating content that's not contextually relevant to how people behave in the digital space. So what do we do? Well, we want to think through and explore some of those problems and discuss solutions to those concerns on this channel. So marketing in the ministry world can be incredibly difficult. You're not really selling anything, right? So what's the point? Why are we spending so much time, energy, and money in digital? Or for many of your organizations and churches, why aren't we? And before you say, I'm a ministry leader, I'm not a marketer, hear me out. Seth Godin has this great quote where he says, marketers make change happen. If you run a ministry, odds are you're trying to make change happen. So if you're a ministry leader, like it or not, you're also a marketer. And if that's the case, how do we use digital to our advantage? We are living through the greatest communication shift in human history. This is the printing press all over again. And like the printing press, the global body of Christ has the opportunity to use this new communications tool to reach far more people with the gospel than we ever have before. But too many ministries are ineffective in digital marketing and communications because they're using worldly business marketing tactics and slapping them on their church or Christian nonprofit. Globally, the church is functioning in digital as if we're still living in the broadcast era. Worse than that, we're creating content that's not contextually relevant to how people behave in the digital space. So what do we do? Well, we want to think through and explore some of those problems and discuss solutions to those concerns on this channel. My name is Zach Layton. I've worked in marketing in the Christian nonprofit and church space for over a decade, and I run Reliant Creative, a full-service digital marketing agency for Christian nonprofits and churches. I'm incredibly passionate about all things story, and I believe that if the church is going to be successful in digital, our digital strategies must start with story and testimony. Our marketing blueprints must be story driven. We have to figure out ways to lead with story because story is what people come to the digital space looking for. We serve a God who is altogether different than any other God. He comes to us and meets us where we are in our brokenness, right? Our theology supports that, but our digital behaviors are altogether different. Everything is come to us, listen to our sermon, come to our church service, come to our event, consume our educational content and our biblical training. None of those things are bad. It's just the approach isn't relevant to how people behave. And if the church is going to mirror Christ and meet people where they are, which is eight plus hours per day in digital, we must meet them contextually relevant to how they behave in those places. If you'd like to learn more and see how we're thinking through these problems, subscribe to the channel for daily videos and shorts where we'll be discussing these things in greater detail. Thanks for listening.